But uh, see, when you love somebody too, and they don't know how to love, if they they'll teach you how to love. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's like kind of. What I ain't know nothing about no real relationship. Shit. If they f with you like that, they like you enough Damn. and love you, and they see they see if you work with somebody, you gotta pay attention who you f anyway. Mm. And if you really f with them like that, you'll teach them how to love or how to you know what I'm saying. If f never been in that kind of. Shit, if you f with me enough, teach me because I don't know. Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. J. Hill, and welcome to another episode of the J. Hill Podcast. But right now, I want to give a special thank you and shout out to our sponsor, that's Top Dog Law. So look, man, if you're suffering from medical malpractice, a slip and fall, especially a car accident, make sure you call my guy Top Dog Law. That's Top Dog Law on Instagram and topdoglaw.com. Look, if you check out his Instagram, you'll see he uploading big checks. I mean, like every day. I ain't talking about the little ones. The big ones. So shout out to my guy, Top Dog Law, topdoglaw.com. Get that money. I know I'm trying to get it. Let's get this started, man. This know something, man. Hold on, man. This nigga, what's up, man? Hold on. Hey, what's up, man? He knows no, something, let's, bro. Let's talk some shit, man. Let's do it. All right, man. What's poppin'? You know what time it is. Your boy, Mr. J-Hill. J-Hill Podcast. We're here. Uh, make sure you go to the audio. Uh, subscribe, like, comment, leave a review on the audio. All of that fancy stuff. We dropping three times a week now. Friday, Wednesday, Sunday. Now we got all the political stuff out the way. We got a special guest in the building. Yeah. OG of the game. I mean, hello. He's been doing this uh, for a long time. If you're from Atlanta, you know this guy. For cheesy. If you're not from Atlanta, you still should know this guy. he been on some of the songs with some of your hottest, the hottest rappers, some of your favorite rappers, and he's still here standing to tell his story. I mean, you've been through some real shit too. Yeah, the show. Tracy T is in the building. What up, dog? What's happening, man? What's happening? Man, it's allergy season. Got my breathing on. I'm trying to like trying to relax. Yeah. <laughs> then I'm drinking a tequila. I'm like, she's the, the allergy. extra, the extra anejo. You know, only it's 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 good sh for the finest men. You feel you me? See what I'm saying? It's for us, man. You feel me? So how you doing, man? What's going on? I'm good, man. Just grinding. You know what I'm saying? Grinding. Um, I'm finna get ready to drop this tape tomorrow, the 24th. Uh, psh, I'm grinding, man. Just doing everything. When know. the last time you dropped? Like 2019? 2020. 2020. Yep. 2020. I wasn't too far off. 2020. Yep. So 2023. Like, what was the? I feel like I can assume mm -hmm. the gap, family stuff. Mm -hmm. Just had your kid, uh, another kid. Yeah. Like what a year ago now? Yeah. He he. 14 months. 14 yeah. months. Yeah. So. Was that the stuff that got in the way of the music, or was Not, it still yourself? What, what was it, it was me, man. It was all me. You know what I'm saying? I just had to realize realize what's going on, buckle down, and shit serious. You know what I'm saying? Most serious than I ever took it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And really understand what I got to do and do it. You know what I'm saying? Put mm -hmm. my It's a transition, for real. The 2023 was really a transition mode. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. From me being what, how I've been and me becoming who I am. You feel me? What was the eye opener to be like, yo, it's time? You, you you gonna get these millions they got for you or not? Mm. You know what I'm saying? They got the cheese. What you gonna do? You gonna keep playing? And me realizing, me realizing whatever I'm doing is not longevity. Shit, you see what I'm saying? And I'm like, okay, if I can get these, it's set up for me already. Why I'm playing? And I can set up everything else. So it's like it's a decision for me to make a grown man decision. You know what I'm saying? Wait, wait, wait. That's wrong. Whatever I'm doing is not long term. Nah, what I wasn't doing. I mean, okay. what I was doing wasn't longevity. Is this still 2020? This from this in the gap from right, 2020 so, to 2023. So you, when you say I went through a transition I, stage. When I'm thinking of not longevity, I'm thinking street still. That's what I'm saying. So you still in the streets in 2020? Nah, yeah. Damn. Yeah, yeah. I've been in the streets since 20, but all before 2020. Yeah, like since yeah. at least like 05, maybe. Yeah, for sure. Before then. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Like you yeah. still, bro. You got a family at this point. Yeah. You was married in 2020? Hell no. Nah. No, you wasn't married. Mm -mm. Okay. I ain't never been married. But you 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 was with um you wasn't with the Keisha, you were, I went with her. I went with her in 2020. I was with her in 2021. Okay. All right. All right. So 2021 you stopped everything or you still was Yeah, like that's when that transition began, you know what I'm saying? Okay. okay. I met her, you know, some people bring certain shit, you feel me? So, you know. Yeah. That's what that was. All right. So, I got some um questions I call it a little icebreaker even though we already had a conversation, broke the ice, but yeah, I'm gonna say a couple things. I'm gonna see what you think about it. Let's go. All right, first word is integrity. Integrity. Mm -hmm. What about it? What's the first thing you think about when you when you hear that word? 
integrity, yo, I think about what your character, like your, uh, like what you stand for. Type Personalize shit. it though. Personalize it. What you stand for, like. You you believe who you is. Mm. That's how I think. I think about it. Do you think sometimes pride can can be confused with integrity? You got to check yourself in those kind of situations. Like you know what I'm saying. If your pride, it's, that's a bad thing, man. Pride can stop a lot of stuff, man. But if you you, you truly believe and know, you know what I'm saying. You 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 really pay attention to yourself and can make make real decisions. Like <clears throat> being a man, just real decision, being honest with yourself. You gotta be honest with yourself, basically. Mm. Be honest with yourself, and then you know that could play a role in everything else. Just mm. being honest with yourself. Okay, we gonna get into we gonna get into all this. You gonna figure, figure out why I'm asking this. When it comes to mentorship, what you think? First thing that came to mind. Mentorship. Uh, what's the first thing that comes to my mind when mentorship? Somebody is telling you something like the definition of mentor, it. Mentor, whatever. First yeah. thing that comes to your mind. Yeah, somebody I can listen to. My somebody I can somebody I can li- take guidance from. Mm. Mm-hmm. Nothing personal though. Nah, hell nah. Mentor is never personal. But you don't, when you hear that word, it, it doesn't spark anything. Mm-mm. Not yet. Nah, man, come on with it. Come on, man. What's up? I'm ready cool. to get in it. Not yet. <laughs> I'm just curious. <laughs> like, no I'm come saying, on. where you at with it? I'm saying, where you at with it? When yeah. you hear uh, Cash, what you think? Uh, ooh, My girl. Yeah. That's what I think. Mm. Cash. You know what I'm saying? Right now, cash, money, your cash. No, nah, yeah. Oh, so my cash son. Down. You yeah. know, cash thing, ca- mm. cash dog. Cash money. When you, you know hear cash dollars, you hear. What you think? First thing that came to your mind? Me. Mm. What you mean? That's hard. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's hard. You talking about, oh, my sh-. You know what I'm saying? That's, I, that's, that's dope. <laughs> all right, that's, I, I f with that. I f with that. Okay. All right, so three things I always ask. If you had to rank these things from top to bottom, what mm-hmm. has to come first, second, and what's absolutely last? Uh-huh. Love, power, respect. Love, respect, loyalty. Uh-huh. What has to come first for you? Respect. Wow. Respect, cause respect me. Like why? Mm. Cause I'm a man, and I'm a, I'm a man of respect. I I I expect respect, mm. cause I give respect. So you know what I'm saying. Off the rip, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna I'm gonna give out what I expect to get back. Mm. You know what I'm saying. So that's in the beginning, respect. And that's you can love me last, cause you can love a person. You can cross and do all. You know what I'm saying. It's true. Like you can you can you, you can you can love a person, and not respect them. You know what I'm saying. Mm. You can be loyal to them. Not love them, but I respect. I I, I expect um, respect. the f- respect first. You know what I'm saying loyalty and then love. So why love last then? Because love can it it, it love can <clears throat> it can you up in many ways. You know what I'm saying? Cause how you gonna love me and you don't respect me? Mm. You know what I'm saying? You think you can love somebody and not and not respect them? Yeah, mm. yeah. I'm asking you. <laughs> Do I think I can love somebody and not respect them? Yeah. Mm. I think um, I can have love for somebody and not respect them. Oh, that's what I'm saying. But loving somebody and having love. Like, I got love for everybody in this room. Mm-hmm. It's my first time meeting all y'all. Yeah. It's respect first, though. You ain't just come out disrespecting a nigga before you uh, got love for him. So when you ask me about respect, I think it's subjective. Yeah. I think... A lot of things that we care about, like this respect thing, mm-hmm. I feel like it really don't matter because to your defi- what, what your definition of respect might, might be mm-hmm. might not be mine. Okay. Well, my definition of respect might not be yours. Okay. Right? So I might expect you to greet me a certain way. Mm-hmm. And you're like, what? Mm-hmm. I think you is. Right, right, right. Or even back back in the day, I think about coming from the hood because I came from the projects. Right. And I always um, associated with respect with... I don't know, like just not being a mm-hmm. right. Then I grew up and I understood that that was like far left of what respect was. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So now that I understand it, I understand that it can be subjective. So mm-hmm. like everybody always say respect first, and I'm like, what does that really mean? Mm-hmm. What does respect really mean? Because if you don't respect me, mm-hmm. I just leave. Mm-hmm. I exit. My presence don't have to be here. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> so what respect mean to you? Hey, respect mean goddamn you goddamn like res- what respect means to me. Mm-hmm. Respect mean like a certain way you handle a situation, a certain way you approach a certain way you handle handle a person or you know what I'm saying? Like like you say if you walk past you, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If I'm cutting if I'm coming in the room and speak, <clears throat> you don't speak, 
First, it, like baby say, first it respect, disrespect, then it's fuck you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to respect y'all for real, but if I don't get the same shit back, you like, I leave just like you said. Yeah, I, so it's kind of the same shit. It's crazy, though, when I say it's subjective, I think about it now. When, I don't know how your parents grew up. Mm -hmm. I grew up. I think I got to get it right. When you come in the room, you, you Greet everybody. Speak. Right. Yeah, I'm right. But some people I heard that if you're in the room and someone comes in, you should always speak. Just like that. That's it different. depends on if it's your room. Right. But you see, it depends. I feel like it's so subjective. Because for somebody that don't know, they like, it depends. Like, we can know that. But for somebody who don't know, they like, yo, I was taught that you should always speak when you come in. You're damn right. Right? Yeah. But if it's my room yeah. and I'm like, bro. Speak to me. Nigga, so what's up? You coming to my house? You just going to come in my sh and don't speak? You get what I'm saying? Damn so right. that's why I say re respect is like. It can go a lot of ways. It can go a lot of ways. Yeah. It definitely can now. That's why for me, I always say loyalty first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I not always. I just started getting into that. Yeah. Before so I what made you start respect. getting into that loyalty first, though? Because if I could choose, mm -hmm. right, respect garnished me nothing. Mm -hmm. Get, like, it gets me nothing. It's right, an okay, right, right. he respected me. Yeah. But if I had, if I was like a fairy. Loyalty fairy mean a lot, though. Yeah, yeah I get dope. what you're saying. But I say loyalty because if, if I had magic, right, mm -hmm. and I was like, yo, everybody is going to be loyal to me. Mm-hmm. Loyalty means something. That means if you're in a room and I'm not there, you're going to treat it as if I was there. If somebody's going to f me over and you're there, mm -hmm. I'm just saying magical loyalty. That, like at, the, at the core of what loyalty is. Yeah. You're not going to do me dirty. Yeah. That's loyalty. Yeah. I can respect you, mm -hmm. but respect the hustle even more. Mm -hmm. I can respect you. Yeah. But respect the business even more. Yeah. You get what I'm trying to yeah, say? Yeah, for sure, for sure. So it's like, and it's like some people will be like, I'm pretty sure you understand this. Dog, it's just business. Ain't not personal. Yeah. I still love you. I still respect you, but I got to get mine. Yeah. See, that's another thing, though. That's another thing. See, that's business. If you in a business and you don't know what the f*** going on, then you, you in the wrong business. That's any, that, that's anything. You playing a game, you don't know how to play it, you're going to mm. lose. So, you know what I'm saying? It's always the better business man win. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, and then with loyalty, I don't expect to be loyal. Right. You know what I'm saying? That ain't what I'm. That I don't expect that because you you expect to be loyal. That's when you set yourself up to get over. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So if you don't expect it and you already <clears throat> looking for the, you know what I'm saying? Respect me, but I don't give a fuck what you do because mm. I expect you to not be loyal when you leave me. You see what I'm saying? Nah, facts. So you respect me as long as you respect me and you right here, it's all good. But nigga, I don't give a fuck what a nigga say behind that. You feel me? So. You know what I'm saying? Lawyer is, but then when a lawyer, it mean a lot though, cause mm. it ain't a lot of lawyer. You know what I'm saying? Loyalty do mean a lot, but respect me, loyalty first, and then you can love me later. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I had somebody say, uh, like was, like was stronger than love. Damn, they said that. They said that, and they spit some too. They spit some behind it. It made what? you realize, like, damn, you know what they talking about? They basically saying like, when you like somebody, you always want to be around them. Yeah. Think about the uh You can love a love hate being around her. <laughs> think about the think about the we both in a relationship. Think yeah. about the, the honeymoon stage. Yeah. Just be likable like we just like everything. Like we going out all the time. <laughs> yeah. Love hurt though. Yeah, love hurt, boy. Ooh. Like especially when you don't know how to do it yeah. properly, right? Yeah. You walk into something and it's like, man, I, I just I know how to love myself and shit. To be honest, I, might not know I how to barely love. even know how to love myself. <laughs> You walk into it, you, you loving somebody, and it's like, you know the things you're supposed to do, but that's hard. Yeah. It's like, I'm supposed to be like, I'm supposed to do this, I'm supposed to do that, but yeah. I don't want to. Yeah. You f me over. Yeah. I want to walk away. Yeah. You disrespecting me. Yeah. You don't, you don't appreciate my work. Yeah. I want to walk away. Yeah. But when you love somebody, you got to fight. You can't walk away. <laughs> you like, oh. I got to goddamn do all this. I can't even <laughs> leave this ball. It hurt. Damn, I'm in love. That's when you realize you're in love. You're like, I'm in love, man. Nice. I want to say, I can't even say it because I'm I, in love. Oh my god! I got to deal with it. <laughs> when you, when you, when you, when you like somebody, yeah. How many times somebody disrespecting you when they like you? Like with, before the love part? I ain't, it's barely. It's like it just. It's all not no. It's not the no, games. Yeah, it's not none. You need the password. My bad. That is amazing, bro. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Yeah. But uh, see, when you love somebody too, and they don't know how to love, if they they'll teach you how to love. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's like kind of. What I ain't know nothing about no real relationship shit. But if they f you like that, they like you enough Damn. and love you, and they see, they see if you work 
somebody, you gotta pay attention who you anyway. Mm. And if you really with them like that, you'll teach them how to love or how to, you know what I'm saying? If you never been in that kind of shit, if you with me enough, teach me because I don't know. Damn. And in what ways do you think your shorty taught you how to love? She taught me how to be respectful mm. toward females, you know what I'm saying? She taught me a lot of shit, man, that come with real relationships. Me, I'm always, I always been a player. I ain't never cared about nothing. I'm doing this, I'm gonna do this, and I'll do what the fuck I wanna do at any given moment. You know what I'm saying? But she just taught me how to goddamn, how to, how to, just certain little shit, man. How to mm -hmm. respect, how to, just never thought of in a relationship. What was the hardest part for you if you had to look back on it? Shit, even now, maybe. maybe. With the bitches. For real? Hell yeah, because I was just always bitches. So it's like, but when I realized the value of not fucking with these bitches, and and all and, and it all being like in your household, it make your household more stronger. Make you even more stronger. Wait. Yeah. Hold up. Yeah. Let's talk about. Come on. She had to stay through it though. She had to stay through it <clears throat> for her to love you through it. If yeah. that makes sense. Now nah, she she ain't had to love me through it because she had to, <clears throat> like from the beginning she gonna understand. She, you know what I'm saying? Them girls smart. Mm. She understand who you is out the rip and what you doing and how you playing. You know what I'm saying? And she just little pointers. You know what I'm saying? And if you fucker accept them pointers and your pride don't get in the way of what you really, was really the uh, big picture, you'll be straight. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, just, you got to want to do better too, too, though. You know what I'm saying? You got to want to. It, it start with you, too. You can listen to it say whatever, but if you don't, don't want to do it, you know what I'm saying? You ain't going to do it. It's crazy because, like. I want, I've been playing all my life with I want to not. I want to see what this shit like, and mm. I, I'm fucking with it. That's hard. Yeah, it's, it's, it it stabilized my mind. You know what I'm saying? It's it's as much as it's crazy because and I'm one of the biggest players. I was one of the biggest players for real. But it's, it's it. I ain't gonna lie. It's more gangster to be with one shorty though. Yeah, yeah. Shit, I realized that. Looking back on it, right at first we like, man, I'm gonna play. I all it. I do now what you I like want. A, so you out here playing yourself, man. Yeah, playing but yourself it, in the end with all that. It's really more. It shows more about your character. Yeah, bossing up. Because a lot, I say this a, a couple times, and I can, I'm, I stand on it. Mm. I feel like you show me a mm. over fucking off on his chick, mm. the one he stay with every day. Mm-hmm. Nigga look like, damn, you doing folk like, damn. That's Imagine how you gonna do me? Yeah, exactly. When the opportunity presents itself. Yeah. You got a chick you that love right you. Up. Yeah. Y'all take care of each other. Y'all wake up every single day in the bed together. Yeah, and you got them leave and go play and come back. And you fucking over her? And come back and play? You can't even lay in the bed. I I won't even feel right mm. laying in the bed after I done played all day. Like, how you gonna come back and lay in the bed and act like it's cool? Mm. You a you a mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I think it's powerful, like, even just he hearing, like, somebody love you through that because we always try to put it on the same realm, right? Mm. Like, when, I don't know, like, I, just second conversation. Women say, like, men, if, 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 if a man cheat, woman should leave him because if a woman cheat, men's gonna leave him. Mm -hmm. I feel like we all play our roles differently though. Yes, exactly. Like disrespect, like I said, it's subjective. Mm -hmm. So a woman could be, they might not cheat on you, but they might disrespect you. Mm -hmm. Not saying this is your case. Mm -hmm. But I feel like if we love each other through it, we are able to see the best in each other. Mm -hmm. For sure, bring the best. That's the, and that's the, that's where the relationship is, bringing the best out of each other for real. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody got a, a, a chance to be the best person. You know what I'm saying? But it take that person to bring it out you. You know what I'm saying? You got to want to be the best person. You, you know what I'm saying? You got to, like, I'm a dumb. You know what, the, you know what being, being a better person is. You know what, mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You could be you, you looking in that mirror. You know. You can't lie to yourself. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And if a person, you got that, that significant other, if they ain't bringing the best out you, what the f*** you with them for? That's mm -hmm. just a waste of time. You know what I'm saying? Damn, that's some real shit. Yo, this episode is sponsored by The Morning Meetup. Man, shout out to my guy David Shines, man. He's probably one of the few people I know who actually built multiple multi-million dollar businesses, right? He created the morning meetup to help other entrepreneurs do the same thing. Now listen, as an entrepreneur myself, I know how hard it can get, especially when we start making money and we get to like this financial cap that we can't get past. And honestly, let's be real. They say it ain't what you know, it's who you know. We probably can't get past this cap because we either, one, outgrew the people around us, or two, we just being lazy and weighing in the rooms we need to be in. It's just plain and simple. But trust me, this is your time because the morning meetup is that room we got to be in. It's filled with, filled with entrepreneurs getting to it. They reading different books every month, right? They holding each other accountable. And it's just honestly just something dope to be a part of. So listen, if you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to get to this bag, you're trying to flourish more than you've been flourishing now, 
You got to go to the morningmeetup.com. That's www.themorningmeetup.com and join now. Let's get to it. I'll see you there. So I asked you about, and Turkey was the first thing I asked you because the MMG shit. Mm-hmm. I feel like that was some lack of integrity there. Mm-hmm. Right? I feel like you said uh, it was a contract mm-hmm. that was like fraudulent mm-hmm. and it could have been handled away, but it wasn't. Mm-hmm. And I feel like on your side, you felt like it was some lack of integrity there. Mm-hmm. But I asked you, could pride, dis- could pride come up and disguise itself as integrity on your part? Because mm-hmm. I feel like you had an option to kind of like let it be what it is mm-hmm. and still rock out. But you said, fuck that, I'm not doing that. Yeah, good God made me do that. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? That's just how that's how how the book wrote, and I'm I feel good. Like I wouldn't be in well, man, today right now. I mm-hmm. can't say where I would have been if I would have went with it, but I know a motherfucker would have been in my pocket. You know what I'm saying? That ain't got no business being in my pocket. You know what I'm saying? I just stand on certain rules. You know so what I'm for the people that don't know, because I did my research, so okay. For the people that don't know, let's can you bring it down just so they understand what's going on? Um, uh, so I with MMG, everything's smooth. When it's time to make bigger moves, how come a dude out the blue talking about I'm signed to him with a fake ass contract? Mm. You know what I'm saying? And I went finna continue doing making the moves I was making with people think with, with 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 a nigga trying to put his hand in my pocket saying I'm signing him on a fucked up contract type shit. Mm. You mean tell me everything I'm doing finna be going to another person who I'm not signed to just cause I want the fame? I would have been broke. Shit, if I would have went on with the situation, nigga would have been broke. Mm. So I'm just rapping for another nigga? No, nah, I ain't came that far for that. And you took it to Ross, but it was like, bro, let's just say, like, just keep going. And he was like, nah. Yeah, Ross, because Ross, I, I can understand it from his his point of view, but you know what I'm saying? He just, he he ready, he ready to keep the shit going. We got a little, we got some steam. Let's keep it going. We'll figure the rest out later. I ain't want to do that because I don't know. I don't even know what this fake ass, like, I'm not, it's a fake contract. I'm not signed to it. I'm not, you nigga not finna swindle me into a contract. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I know, I, I know what type of person I am. I know I'm a go-getter. I know I'm gonna be good, you feel me? Mm-hmm. So I ain't finna settle. I ain't finna settle for that. When I I got a choice to not set, to not settle for that or, or or keep going, like you know what I'm saying? Shit, I kept going. Mm-hmm. I ain't had to settle for that. That shit don't end right there. And looking back on it, you don't re- regret none of that at all. Mm-hmm. I feel I feel so good right now. You know what I'm saying? I would have been yeah, put ahead a name with all kind of niggas in your pocket. You signed it. I had this guy to deal with a nigga I don't fuck with for real. Come on, man. That would have been a headache. I can't even sleep at night. I ain't grow up like that. I only ask that, and I only add the pride thing, because I feel like so many artists we see have bad deals. Mm-hmm. Especially they say your first deal is always the worst, mm-hmm. right? And there's so many artists we see come up on top. Mm-hmm. Out after the deal. After the deal. Mm-hmm. And I'm just, as a fan, as a consumer, I'm thinking like... But they was really in a deal, though. Mm. That was really in the deal. They really signed that shit. Now, if I really had signed to that nigga, mm-hmm. I would have went with it. Like, all right, all right, cool. I mean, I am signed to y'all. Right. But, no, nah, if they in the deal that they signed, they really in that deal, though. Mm. I'm not finna be in no motherfucking imaginary deal. You feel me? And a nigga taking my cheese. Fuck no. Mm. It ain't pride. It's just about it's business. And so, I, wait, so was this somebody that was, like, connected to him? Like, how does, when you say imaginary, I'm like, he's just, in my mind, it's like some random nigga just came out of nowhere. Ross knew the nigga. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Ross knew the nigga. You so feel you, you feel like you had to walk away? Like you couldn't just be like, fuck it, MMG, we thugging. I couldn't do it, bro. I fuck with Ross. I fuck with Ross. Like, Ross my nigga. I fuck with him, but I couldn't carry on. I can't sleep, bro, knowing I'm making money and a nigga making the money. Mm. I'm making a nigga money who ain't got that. I'm not, you can't just play me like that. You can't just. I'm not. I'm not no. You. I'm not the worker. Mm. I. I work if I'm really the worker, but I'm not a worker for some other shit that ain't that don't even matter. Like you feel me? Mm. Like hell, now you're not finna swim to me like that. Ain't no sucker for this shit. It's more. It's a lot of ways to make money. I can make millions somewhere. Mm. Ain't gotta be getting suckered. You feel me? Make it look good, and then in the end, I be broke with a nigga got big pockets off of me. Mm. Hell, nah. I ain't came this far for that, man. And you don't feel no way that like it wasn't mediated better. I would be upset. I do feel the way it was. Well, not now, I, not not feeling the way now, because that shit is old. Yeah, because I, 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 I like I felt like if I was signed to uh, Rose, I felt like you know what I'm saying. Because me coming in, I ain't really know shit. I ain't know how it's supposed to go. I'm just thinking I'm signed to you know. I know now how it go, but I'm thinking I'm signed. You know what I'm saying to a shouter. It's like I'm gonna just be signed and everything. Really like okay, you gonna help me figure it out. 
It's like, it's like, nigga, you got to figure it out. And I'm like, damn, what the fuck I'm supposed to do? But that's your man's, though. What you mean? Not you, like, like, bro, what do you mean I got to figure it out? I don't know, bro. That's just, that's where I'm at with it. So I'm like, damn, when, when a nigga said it like that, it just made me think. Like, damn, what? Is it a move that I don't know about? Or I, it's just all kind of shit went through my head, you feel me? Mm. And that I didn't know. So it's like, all I could think of is this nigga, <clears throat> this nigga trying to extort me. I ain't going for it. Mm. That's all right. that's that's that, that's just the bottom line to cut all the extra shit out. Nigga trying to get in my pockets and he ain't got nothing to do with me. You ain't finna stalk me and I ain't going for it. Damn. That's did how you, I cut it all the way down. You wait, know did you saying? have a lawyer at the time? I had a lawyer. My lawyer got me out the contract because it was just like after after <gasps> the shit was going on, it just seemed like, you know what I'm saying, niggas weren't fucking with me on the label. Niggas were acting funny or something, like, you know what I'm saying? Niggas weren't answering them calls no more. So I'm like, shit, nigga, I'm out here trying to uh, no, the average nigga just sit there and be like, well, you know, that's why a lot of niggas disappear. I'm going to fight to the end, nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? It ain't over right there. It don't stop right there. It's just a part of my process. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's just a part of my process, and that's what it is. You know, you know I'm still That shit had to, like, turn you off for the, like, just the industry. I was just thinking, like, damn, I get this far. Why that shit <laughs> happen like that? But it ain't the end, nigga, because I'm still that nigga. <laughs> I'm still that nigga regardless. That shit don't, that shit don't stop you. If you let that shit stop you, you need to tell me you let another man control your destiny. How you gonna let a man control? You gonna let a man kill your dreams, nigga? Mm. Gonna let a nigga kill your dreams? That what they say about you? Facts. You know what I'm saying? You a sucker if you let a nigga just down you and you just die. Fuck no, nigga. We came too far, nigga. I talked to go get it, nigga. This shit don't stop. Damn. It don't stop. So you still talk to like niggas that was on the label, like, cause I, you was you had came in with Fat Trail. Came in Trail. Trail just hit me laying the day, man. We're gonna get in the lab and shit. No, I did an interview with uh, Trail. I fuck with him. Yeah. He's definitely cool. Yeah, yeah, Trail, he laying today. I fuck with Trail. Me and Meek used to talk all the time. We ain't really, I don't really, I ain't really talk to him like that lately. And then on uh, Rose, when he's like a, I see him every blue moon or something, what's up and keep it moving. That shit don't make you hot. I just feel like if it was me, that shit would make me hot. Cause it's like, it just, it's just, I feel like it's, it's the game. I feel like this what it is. This what it is, and if I if I if I let my feelings get involved, I lose. Mm. Cause this ain't the streets. This just how this game is. So it's like, all right, I see what's going on. So either you gonna adapt or not fuck with it. All right, this how they rock it. I'm adapt to it too. I'm a rock. I'm a rock just like how nigga rocking. Mm. I'm like, all right, okay, cool. I know not to make that mistake no more. Like you learn, you live and you learn. So I, it was a learning experience. I don't take it as a as a. I don't take it as getting bitter. And then nigga, I learned and I'm gonna come back strong. Mm. Cause I know I got game now. I got more game. That I learned from the situation. Mm -hmm. uh, a nigga be sit there and, 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 and be bitter about the situation, but what that being bitter gonna get you? That shit ain't gonna get you nowhere. Right. Nigga, but if you sit back and be like, all right, okay, so this, okay, so learn, nigga, all right, I'm back. I'm mm -hmm. coming back, you feel me? That's how, that's how, that's how I took it. That's Mine the best hard. way, that's the best way to, to, you know what I'm saying, for me to, in order for me to keep going. And, you know what I'm saying, it gave me power, nigga, it gave me fuel, nigga. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying, it gave me fuel. Yeah, like so now it's like it's kind of it's motivating now. Yeah, it's, it's motivation. Like, I'm gonna show niggas now. Yeah, it's fuel to the fire. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I fuck with it. That shit motivated me, nigga. I fuck if with it. I was it. stressed out, nigga. I would have been sitting around looking crazy like a lot of these niggas. You what about me? the relationships though? I feel like when somebody see you like on a pedestal, mm -hmm. everybody want to fuck with you. Mm, that's for sure. Yo, let's do a feature. Let's do a feature. Yo, he signed for it. Sure. Out. You know what I'm saying? Nah, that's now nah, that's for sure. Now you hop off. It's like I'm independent, and everybody like. All right, bro, I'll holler at you, uh, like, next week, bro. Mm -hmm. Next week come. All right, next week, bro. Mm -hmm. Next week come. Bro, I'm just mad busy, bro. I'll get to you. See, but that's when you got to realize what's going on, and you got to focus on yourself. Mm. You can't focus on fucking with niggas. If niggas ain't fucking with you, what the fuck you going to keep trying to fuck with them for? That's when you got to do, you do. You must be. I, I look at it like this. I'm doing something wrong then. If I'm starting to fuck with niggas and niggas ain't fucking with me, let me fuck with myself. Let me fuck with myself and goddamn, you know what I'm saying? Damn. I'll be all right. That's some hard shit. Yeah, nigga, look in the mirror and fuck with yourself, nigga. But so that's real. That's real. But mm -hmm. so on here, I try to have these conversations of like, what makes you human, mm -hmm. right? These relatable conversations and and what I'm want to touch on. Mm -hmm. Before you understand that, you gotta fuck with yourself. Mm -hmm. It had to be a moment where that shit hurt. Of course, when, nigga, be like, nigga, be like, damn. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But I ain't never let it stop me. It mm -hmm. can if it affect you, you just you can't let that shit break you, man. Mm -hmm. That shit supposed to build you, man. Without saying no names, right? What was the thing that hurt the most? And probably was like the realization of you gotta start fucking with yourself. Oh, uh, where it hurt the most? 
is um, a relationship you thought was there that wasn't there. You don't have to say no names. When, when, it when ain't even no relationships I thought was there. Like I just like I told you, I just learned how the game go. Mm. Niggas fuck with you for reasons. It's reason. It's, it's reason for season. But when was the last time you learned that? Like when did you learn that? And then I learned and that at, at, after that situation. Okay, that's when I learned it. I'm like, okay, okay so. All right, let me goddamn. I told you, I'm sponging this shit up. Like, I ain't taking it in as no bitter shit. I'm sponging, like, nigga. All right, so, all right, so I gotta. All right, so this, okay, so I know what to do when, oh, I gotta have my team. Oh, mm. okay, if niggas work for him, okay, they ain't, they ain't for me. I gotta do my shit, okay? I'm learning. I'm looking at every angle, nigga. I ain't here just to be happy and rap. Was I'm that right learn. after the situation or? Nigga, that was during some... the situation before any of that happened. I'm still sponging. I'm looking at Rose, nigga, like, I'm looking like, oh, he doing this like this. Okay. Damn, I need okay. somebody to do the same shit. Yeah, you feel me? That's what you want. I got to be on that fucking. You feel me? Yeah, mm-hmm. you going to adapt or get the fuck on or die. Facts. Yeah, adapt or adapt die. Adapt or retire. Like, you feel it me? is what it is. Yeah. Like, and like, I ain't going nowhere. I'm looking, I respect it. I respect every move a nigga making. Mm. A nigga who or looking at it from another eye who can't learn from it, that's a nigga that'll be fucked up about it. Mm. You said all this time and you had the mm. wrong thoughts in your head while you around all this game, you ain't getting none. You worrying about still got your eyes on the pride for the for the deals and the other shit, nigga. It's a lot of game in front of you too. He didn't get where the fuck he at by not being a sponge himself. He went through shit too. He and fucked up deals too. You know what I'm saying? But guess what? He ain't do. He ain't stop. Nah, you're right. I think me on the, on the more human side of it, like I'm. This him, nigga. This that me. Shit I'm hurt. a human, nigga. That shit hurt. I you gotta have lie. a stomach for this shit. That man. shit hurt. I'ma still go. But I'm going to tell you, it hurt. Yeah. Like, I, got, <laughs> I, I joke about it all the time. I got stories to this day that when I make it, I'm going to tell my story. Yeah. Not now. I can't, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I'm just a little nigga. But when I get there, yeah. I'm telling my story for yeah. sure. Because <laughs> it's some shit that hurt. I'm like, oh, niggas is playing. Yeah. I, I just came as a thorough nigga, man, and just had to understand how this shit go. It's all business, man. You mm. know what I'm saying? I had to learn. I thought, nigga, I thought it was all supposed to be like family shit, but it's business. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That makes sense. Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. Been, I had to stomach that shit and, and and keep moving, nigga. So what is it? What are you? Where are you with it now? Are you still independent? Yeah, with it? independent. Ain't signed the shit. Even after the Rose shit, this nigga with the fake contract tried to come and <laughs> holler at Empire about me. They like, nah, he own all this shit. You got to go to him. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You can't go to Empire. You think that's going? Nah, you got to come holler at me. And you know I know, and I ain't backing down, nigga. I mm. know what's up. I'm planning, nigga. It is what it is. Mm. However you want to do it, I'm standing on it. Do you find yourself like trying to chase a hit because you're independent? Hell no, nah. that's how you you be making out. You end up making whack shit. I mean, it's a, I mean, it's a, lot uh, of a whack. hit though. Like, like it's a lot of whack. I know a lot of niggas who ain't got hits. They got a lot of money out this shit. Facts. You know what I'm saying? A hit will take you up through that certain areas. You know what I'm saying? But nigga, it's about feeding my crowd and and, and and getting the income, man. It's funny that you said that. I asked somebody. Um, I forgot who it was, but I said. There's so many artists out here who might not be the if you most. Make popular. good music, you gon' you a hit's gonna come. You can't chase a hit. You just gotta make your music. Nah, you facts. Hit. But I, w- I was asking like, there's so many artists out here who ain't the most popular, but are super successful on the business side of it. And yeah. They s- a lot of money. Yes, sir. You might not know that name, mm-hmm. but they're good for like. They good. <laughs> are you okay with that? Yeah. This shit ain't nigga. Because what you in it for? Mm. What you in it for? The clout or the or the cheese? Don't the clout kinda. It kind of determines. Go with the cheese. Honestly, it kind of determines your your worth in the but game. If you pop it right, if you pop it right, and, 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 and your worth is gonna be rec- like they recognize that shit. Name one person that recognize what my the, worth. The, not you. Oh, like a person that we recognize the worth, but don't have a clout. That we don't know the name. We don't know the name that got the worth. Cause you don't know the nigga. <laughs> Nah, I might be the nigga that make that, that that be the nigga that make the worth and the clout go together, nigga. Yeah, you don't count. Cause <laughs> niggas know you. Like you is you outside. Like niggas look, know you. But look, why they know me? Cause of your work, but the work got you the clout. All right, so niggas we just gotta real? work hard. So niggas just gotta work hard. Niggas gotta keep working. So in. name one nigga that don't got the clout, but we recognize him for his work. Damn. I don't know, bro. I might be thinking about that shit tonight, tomorrow. That one on my shout out and put one of them on my brain. I don't know. I gotta think about that. I'm gonna take a sip. No, take a sip. I'm gonna take one too. <laughs> I'm gonna take one with you. Mm-hmm. Now I say that because everybody always like we always talk shit about not wanting to be famous, want the money. Yeah. But it's like, uh, I mean It shit go together though. You, you feel gonna me? make the money, it go it do go together for sure. It's like 
I don't know. Like they go together for cause sure. Cause the fame is gonna help you. Like when we talk about these award shows and shit, we all know it's bullshit. Yeah, for sure. But the fame is what help you get the award. Like you gonna go and get a Grammy because of the fame. Yeah. Everybody gonna vote for you. Yeah. If that shit like that. What? What you mean? Is it about the cheese work? What you mean? With the with the votes and shit, is it, is this, is it a paper thing or is it really like that? Nigga, you would know shit? more than me. Oh, okay. Nigga, you won a game. I ain't. <laughs> he says I, about the cheese. Yeah, like I be yeah. seeing motherfuckers getting awards that I don't like. Like, all right, keep it real. So these little few last little award shows you be saying, you ain't be like, who the fuck is that? That of one? Course. That's all I'm saying. But I don't think We that's... don't know them. And they getting awards. But maybe that's just because we closed, we're closed in our... Community. Nah, I ain't closed in my community. No? Hell nah. And I don't know them motherfuckers. Name me five black co- country singers right now. I don't know none. Because you closed in your community, nigga. You a nigga just like <laughs> <laughs> You a nigga. Like, Damn. it's okay. But it ain't like, see, I did. You right. <laughs> like, I hear other kind of music and shit, and it be cool. But I don't just know who, who, and what's what. And I hear other shit, and I just, I ain't gonna lie. I probably don't even care about this but shit. But look, I, in awards, though, you got these certain amount of people. They, they, be, they be in awards with people we do know. Yeah, facts. So it must like, be in the same culture Beyonce somewhere. Beyonce got snubbed. She, like, best album. Kyron, what is it, bro? What was it? Best some shit. Don't give me the line. I don't know, but she got snubbed. Yeah. We seen one of the actors just got snubbed. Yeah. So was it Angela Bassett, I think? Yeah, it was Angela Bassett. Damn. Yeah, I don't, and I don't even know who win. Yeah. I be wondering why they don't win. Is, that's how I like It might not be a money play. It might be a marketing play. Marketing play. Because if you don't win, right? Mm-hmm. Just have you keep coming back. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep nominating you. Mm-hmm. I know you're gonna bring a crowd. Right. I'm gonna get you sitting I know in first. People want to see you there. Yeah. You gonna yeah, sit yeah, in the yeah, front yeah, row. I'm gonna yeah. get you some front row seats. Yeah. 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 You fucking around only. So get a, you know you ain't gonna win though. You feel me? But you, but, you just hear you right chance. there. Your name. Your name is around the winner. You chance is a chance you might win. Yeah. You know. So you're gonna right. keep coming back. Yeah. Yeah. If you win, you might say fuck us. It might be a play. That's what I'm saying. So many fucking plays out here, man. There's <laughs> plays all over this motherfucker, man. Oh my god. Yeah. So what's the play you running for for the new tape you about to drop tomorrow? What's the name of it? Uh, Mr. T. Mr. T. Mr. Motherfucking T, man. Yes, sir. Why? Why? What's the Mr. T for? What's that? Cause nigga, Mr. Sign of Respect. It is. Yeah. That's why I changed my name. Yeah, Mr. Sign of Respect. You know what I'm saying? So Mr. T. Mr. T. When I hear Mr. T, I just see the nigga with the uh the mohawk with the mohawk yeah. in it. In the yeah, motherfucking yeah, yeah, yeah. He talk that shit like I talk that shit too. He mm. get a game. He got a lot of wisdom. If you if you do some research on Mr. T, you'll hear he went just a acting nigga. He drop a lot of game and encourage and give a lot of strength to, you know what I'm saying, the streets. So was that a part of if, if I'ma name myself Mr. T, I went like I definitely wouldn't take a name from a sucker nigga. Mm. You feel me? I definitely be like, yeah, Mr. T. Then if you see on the cover, my son got all the chains on and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? I kinda Took that a little bit and, and, and turned it into my shit. One of your interviews, you said your son came out and Cash put Cash dog put all the motherfucking drip on him. Yeah. He was like, I get that shit. Yeah, she, that nigga had on goddamn Rolex. Uh, he about ten hours old. We, he got a Rolex taking a pic. Man, get, come on now, Keish. She's so Detroit. <laughs> nigga said he came out and shit. yeah, but just, uh, boom, they go to Rolex. Damn. <laughs> With shit. Now that's the life you live. You gotta live, no? I, I love it, man. I mean, you're gonna be accustomed to this shit, man. You think that make it hard for niggas that's like talented out here? What make it hard? Like having to have that. I feel like that's guy. Like having to have what? The jewelry, the drip, and all that. Man, you know what? I hate this kind of shit, but it's for the. I did this shit because it's for the. It's for. It's for what I got going on. You mm. know what I'm saying? That shit go. To, like I say, it go together. Mm. Like if you mute doing it, it go together. Like of course I could have bought a house or something. I rather would have bought a house, but you got to do this shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I hate it's like that, but motherfuckers be like, "Oh damn, you see, damn, it's a marketing thing. With it's, it's all it's all marketing, man. Publicity. How do you change that if you could? Could can you? That ain't my job. I ain't mm. trying to change that. If I, I fuck with I, that. I ain't try, That's like, hard. It is what it is. I ain't even finna fuck up my brain trying to change that. It's the game you gonna play. It's the game. Like you know what I'm saying? Some hard ass rapper, dope ass rapper. They don't carry that image. And they get overlooked like a motherfucker, you feel me? So it's just part of it, just go with it, you know what I'm saying? Did you understand that coming into the game? Yeah, I understood that before the game. You know mm. what I'm saying? Like, I could have, I, I always, I was, I've been getting money and I ain't never was a nigga that always want to go jump and buy the newest car, go jump and buy the biggest chain. Nigga, I had my chain from 2013 to I got this chain, nigga, mm. I think. 
So you only got this because it's the, it's the album play. Yeah, it's I'm the, about to drop. I, I'm so back like, on their ass. I'm like, let me put that shit together, man. You know what I'm saying? I go buy a nice watch or some earrings, something for a change and shit. I don't give a fuck about this shit. Mm. Yeah, but now, now it's like, all right, let me get on their ass and let me let me put this shit in their face a little bit. Let them know, like, yeah, nigga, cause it's, it, niggas see that shit and it's like, I hate it like that, but they see that shit like, oh, oh damn, like nigga, re- retard. This shit nah, ain't I say, that. Like, I say that too, cause I hate it like at that. The chain, you damn fool. Facts. <laughs> nah, facts. I hate it like that. It's like so many people get, I don't know. It's like they get pulled into something that's fake. Mm-hmm. Not saying you're fake. Yeah. But it's like I can be the fakest nigga in the world. I throw some chains on. Oh, that nigga of God. <laughs> Damn, you seen that nigga with all them? It's like you fucking retarded. You feel me? <laughs> like, that shit is crazy. It's crazy. So I just use it for what it worth. You know what I'm saying? Speaking of that in the industry, how do you feel about the music industry now? Like, what do you think about the state of the, the culture right now? Needs Mr. T. Mm. Why, why, Mr. why, why the culture need Mr. T? Why they need you? Because I don't see, I don't see, I, it need me, bro. Why? Because, nigga, I'm that nigga. Nigga, everybody say they that nigga. Well, I'm I'm gonna show the world, nigga. I'm that nigga. So why does the culture need T? Same reason Ross signed me. Why is that? Cause I'm that nigga. What does that mean? <laughs> you said I'm gonna ask this nigga the question, like nigga, what? Hey, do you, I don't what? know if it's the extra in they whole man. <laughs> I God, swear, damn. like a nigga bro, hiding this motherfucker. Nigga, I, well, I was he got damn drilling thing. me with these questions and shit, man. I'm got them feeling good, man. God damn. All right, at me again, man. Let me try to come again with this shit. You my dog, I fuck with it. <laughs> That's gonna be good for a clip. Yeah. No, no, it's like I'm saying, like, what, like, what, what makes you special? Like, what makes you the nigga that the culture need? And not. Nah, it's just I feel like, man, you know what I'm saying. I got something to bring to it, which is uh some authentic shit that ain't going. Like a lot of folks, I respect little baby. He dropping that shit right now, but like, it's a lot of it's a it's a lot. It's like I'm like kind of the last hope on the real shit. Like you know mm. what I'm saying. The shit don't pop and I, don't, I ain't hearing it. Mm. You know what I'm saying. I ain't hearing. It. I'm hearing everything else. You know what I'm saying? It, it need to be from a nigga who done stood on shit, got respect in it. Like, it need to be from a, 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 a um, relatable nigga, man. Like, from from street side to business side, all this shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to give them the game in so many ways. It's like, they need that shit because a lot of music, they ain't giving no game. They ain't giving shit. They just talking shit, talking about shooting, killing. Facts. Nigga, it's bigger than that, nigga. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? It's way bigger than that. And I'm going to pop that shit. I'm going to pop what's really going on. And we, we need that shit in these, in these songs. You know what I'm saying? That one nigga don't want to just listen to shoot him up, grab the stick, switch, whatever the fuck it is. You know what I'm saying? Nigga don't want to just keep going and hearing that shit. We need to hear some get money music. Oh, damn. I, oh, shout said that in there. Let me got down. You know what I'm saying? Because when the young niggas hear the music, that drive them to be a certain way. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they do what they hear. That's a fact. A lot of niggas don't be gangsters, don't got no kind of shit going on, but then when that when that... When they hear that music, they want to do what they hearing. That's a fact. So let me let me let, let these let these niggas hear me getting some money. And let me hear them let them hear me buying shit houses and doing the right shit. You feel me? I hope like that's that's my goal to reach the reach the, reach that shit in a state of emergency. So what do you think about playing devil's advocate, right? And you can get as gritty as you want with this answer. Mm-hmm. I want you to talk your shit. Mm-hmm. Playing devil's advocate, somebody would say, "You had your turn. It's over with." Mm-hmm. Give it up. I ain't heard that. You ain't heard it. I'm just saying, if if but that if could they be a narrative, that, right? Yeah, a motherfucker say anything, man. A mouth can say anything to bring can think of, man. So long as I know what's here and what I got going on, my process and my progress. Mm-hmm. Now, I can see if I was doing this shit, I ain't got no progress. Nigga, fuck a process. I ain't got no process out of the years and this shit just stiff. Nigga, just switch, your, switch your channel, nigga. Go do walk, something man. else. Yeah. So that's like, how you... Nigga ain't peaked out. I ain't peaked out or I ain't got them... I still got this shit in it, it, it you know. It How is. would you know though if you, if you ain't dropped I, 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 I see the um, response I get, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I know I, I hear the music. I, I tune in on music. Like, I got I, I can make good music. I, I brush shoulders with a lot of these niggas. So you, you know say what I'm saying? A lot of these niggas that's relevant right now, I brush shoulders with them. Mm. Yeah, brush shoulders and they like. That so shit you would nothing. say if there's no, if it's no pro- progress, that's how you know when to walk away. After, I ain't going to say if there's no progress because it, be, it could be stagnant. At, at, a, at a certain time But like mm-hmm. After so many years Nigga you got shit to do And motherfuckers Depending on you nigga It's like Alright bro What's up Like you know what I'm saying so, But somebody gonna tell you Your shit whack You gonna know if your shit whack You know what I'm saying Motherfuckers ain't gonna be On your team If your shit whack Like man mm-hmm. We ain't pushing this shit man You gonna it's on, you gonna, A lot of doors Gonna be closed on you A you lot of doors You got some shit A lot of doors And I feel like I've been holding myself back By not dropping Consistently You know what I'm saying 
Like I can have all the hardest music, but if I don't drop it, I'ma stay in one place. Mm. You feel me? So I had to realize, nigga, it's time to go, nigga. Mm. That's some real shit. So you, it's, you, you got some shit. Hold up, cause I was just listening to your music, right? Mm-hmm. You telling me you about to sit up here and tell me? I'm gonna pull another shot right quick. Oh, do your thing, do your thing. I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. I ain't even want that. <laughs> I, so I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with and my you, dog, I, I didn't even he gonna rock with a nigga. He ain't I, even I, I want. I even want that. You a loyal nigga, man. Yeah, I, 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 I don't even want this. Bro. I ain't gonna make you drink by yourself. I hate my nigga, I fuck with you. So, you ain't about to sit up here and tell me all the shit you got. You don't listen to it, be like, man, I need another one like that. Don't sit up here Hello, and lie, out of man. my music. Yeah, I need another one like I got. Yeah, you know what? I listen to my shit. And it's like every time I go in the studio, I ain't gonna say every time, but most of the times when I got hard shit, if you keep working, it's gonna be better shit. Mm. That's what anything you do, nigga. If you practice this, 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 you keep doing it, you are gonna be better than you was before. But wait, what about why you think? That- why you think niggas practice? In NBA and everything, the, it's, they, they perfect their skill. That's a fact. That's a fact. But what about? Because it's t- like you're in a different space now. Mm-hmm. Like you're happy. Mm-hmm. One could say you wasn't as happy coming up. That's what made the so so much good music. Because coming up, you was hungry. You feel me? You fighting? You feel me? Like I'm here now. You you happy, T? But you can't be comfortable. I'm uncomfortable than a motherfucker though. Why I might be know? happy because there's other levels to reach. Nigga, if you get to a certain level and think that's it, you a fool. Yeah. I ain't went no fucking way. I ain't did shit that I look at it in my eyes. Mm. Nigga, I ain't did nothing. It's a lot to do. I'd be crazy if I'm like, oh, I'm cool. Now I can kick back. <laughs> nigga, you a fool if you do that. Mm. I ain't reached a lot of shit, nigga. There's levels to reach. Facts. And I ain't, I ain't reached them. Yeah. This shit I want to do, nigga. Do you think the music changed with the age, though? Because as we get older, I mean... Music do change, but like good music is timeless. Now, I ain't no trendy nigga. Trends change. Mm-hmm. Niggas get drop trendy music and how you gonna come back? What you gonna like? Nah, nigga. But do you think older niggas can really drop some shit that the young niggas wanna hear? Can older niggas drop the young shit that niggas wanna hear? Yeah. You, you, now, name- you gotta feed your folks, man. Feed your folks and you don't know what niggas wanna hear. Mm. You can't say what niggas want to hear. You know what I'm saying? Because it's music. Everybody, everybody like fuck with all kind of music. That's fact. My my son fuck listen to older shit. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't like when you drop timeless music, it's gonna be timeless. Mm-hmm. It ain't trendy. Like you could drop some shit like, oh, that sound like that era, or that sound like that era. You know what I'm saying? But if you drop you nigga your own era, nigga, this is you. These folks fucking with you, or they fucking with something you trying to do. You know what I'm saying? They fucking with a trend or they fucking with you? Facts. These folks fuck with me, not a trend. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's funny because um, I was talking to Jock about like just older artists making music and mm-hmm. still doing their thing. Because I'm like, bro, you still could do it. He's like, what older artists you know that's that's like that got a hit right now? And I'm like, they might not have a hit, but niggas is still making music that's good. Yeah. You still get your cheese, nigga. That's what it's about. That's why I go back to the hit and then getting the money. So it's about as long as I'm getting paid for this shit. Nigga, get paid. Look at Fab, nigga. You think Fab still eating out this shit? This is Fab true. been around for a minute. I give a fuck what y'all nigga not bobbing me. I'm getting my cheese, nigga. Mm-hmm. This shit about the money, nigga. That's a fact. This nah, there's a couple the niggas that's dropping shit that still. You see what I'm saying? That I fuck with. Yeah. I was telling I was saying two chains. I fuck with chains. Yeah, I fuck with chains too. So that's a like, nigga who was who stayed down for a while before he got his break. Yeah. If anybody else, that, that's motivation. Now, if that ain't motivation, I, what? I don't know what the fuck is. Nigga, I remember. Nigga, what? That's motivation. That shit. Like, nigga, you just can't. That's why I say you can't stop, man. You stop, you beat once you get once you stop, bro. No cap. And I feel like, um, I feel like being in Atlanta, it helps a little bit, though. Mm-hmm. Cause like, and you got the relationships with everybody. You mm-hmm. probably can make a phone call like, "Yo, like, let's do this shit," mm-hmm. and niggas gonna fuck with you. Yeah, no, that just fuck. come from grinding though. That come from not stopping, and niggas knowing like they go back to the good music. Mm. Like if everybody ain't fucking with you, like damn. I and see, I'm a nigga that listen to my folks. I got certain niggas that tell me I ain't around no niggas. Yeah, that's hard. That's hard. Nah, I got niggas that that tell me. Shit, and I really go to just for them to tell me shit. And when they don't tell me something ain't wrong, something ain't wrong, I know it's right. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So you know what I'm saying? That when you got to be, you got you got you got to be true with yourself, man. So it's dropping tomorrow. I, I'm I'm a um, nigga tonight, twelve a.m. So this is gonna come out after that. What's tell me what's on there? You could you could speak freely. Like, like what? What's who who you got on that feature? Nobody. For it's just you. Yeah. Why? 
See, that's that pride no, shit, No, I'm going to tell you what it is. I reached out to a few niggas now and get back in town. I can't keep letting me focus on fucking with niggas Let when you got to focus on, on me. On. Yeah, I got okay, I got to do this. I got to do me. Uh, you wait on, you can't keep waiting on these features to come and nigga, what? Time done went by, nigga. Nah, you right. You could be on your third project, nigga. And now your shit bubbling, that shit going to come around. Hey, this is a great conversation, bro, but I got to get my interview back. Who ain't reached back? Who ain't? Nah, everybody reached back. They just ain't come back fast enough. Who ain't come back fast enough? It's different, nigga. I got I got it. Saying, <laughs> look, niggas ain't come back fast enough. Hey, and it's still a friendship. I ain't tripping. Facts. Because I know how it be with the I got to get in my interview bag. Like, who ain't? Who ain't, who ain't hit you back, bro? Tell me who ain't hit you. Hey, come Everybody on, Everybody hit back. Ain't no nigga leave me on no, on no like, oh, like. It's one nigga that, in the group that was playing with you, and you know he's playing with you, but you was like, I'm going to take the bigger man. I'm going to take the bigger route. Who was it? Uh, a lot of nigga. Bro, that shit ain't even. It you too nobody. much of a real nigga for me, Hey, bro. that shit went. That you shit too went, much of a real nigga. Listen, it went no. It went. That nigga don't even matter, man. I was just. I be trying to just fuck with certain niggas. I, I might hear a nigga on something like, damn. I only might not even have a relationship with the nigga, so I don't expect a nigga to really. No, I might just call a nigga out the blue or have his, have his, have the people who over him. Hey man, get this nigga on this shit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But if they, I ain't gonna even call back, I'm be like, Psh, yeah, well, if he, if he sent it, he sent it. If he don't, my, this shit dropping like, damn. Oh, that's the song. Yeah, the shit going up. I fuck with it. I, I was just, I'm just trying. Nah, nigga, I know what's happening. I'm just trying. I mean, like, what am I searching for? Shout <laughs> <laughs> out digging with the nah, show. I'm fucking with you, bro. Nah, for sure. Nah, I fuck, I, I fuck with the energy, bro, from the first time, the first second I got in here, when I was washing the glasses, I came in here, and the energy is just, you could feel it. Respect out the dribble. Yeah. I speak. What's up, bro? I, all that shit, like. It's crazy. But you know what I hate, bro? When I get that energy. It's not reciprocated. It, yeah, and I be like. That, and then I had to turn down, like, damn, all right, let me. And I hate doing that, bro. I might walk in the room or whatever, with with like, nigga be dry and shit. Nigga look at me like I'm doing too much when it's me. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, let me tone it down. This with these niggas. Let me, you know what I'm saying? Nah, facts. Yeah. It's, I don't know if it's the liquor. It's hot. Hot as a, a motherfucker. I'm saying. <laughs> nigga, I've been wanting to come out of this cold. You got a jacket on. Nigga, I'm like, yo, what is yeah, going on? You see me in this oh. motherfucker? I see you keep moving the head yeah. up and shit. I'm like. looking at niggas like, niggas ain't hot. Like, you see, I'm like, yo, what's going on? I got me feeling, looking like a junkie in this motherfucker. God damn. That y'all niggas ain't hot. Boy, that shit's not? so serious. Niggas said, nah, I'm not. I'm cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that drink damn, the motherfucker, boy. Son. That shit got that blood flowing, boy. Yo, what you think about this? What that? I heard, um, I watched a couple of your interviews. And you were saying at one point in time, Niggas wanted to do what the streets wanted to do. Mm -hmm. I feel like now the industry has turned into the, the streets. Like a lot of the street, the niggas as street niggas is making Man, music. Went into the industry. Yeah. Do you feel like that? Yeah. So do you feel like that changed the industry? The whole. Nah, nah. But I, cause I, I could believe the higher level people in the music industry want that. Cause mm -hmm. a lot of niggas don't got the game. They don't know no better. Damn. So they feel like, oh, we could just use them and get the cheese. Use them to make the money. Won't give a fuck what happened. Damn. They get locked up. Even better for me. They die. Even better for me. Facts. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 the nigga, the labels will have you. You have you on their insurance. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, they had you on their insurance. So, so you. Yeah. So it's, it's it's still not a good thing. It's just man. You just gotta have some game. You gotta know some shit, man. You know what I'm saying? And and a lot of young niggas ain't gonna know that. You know what I'm saying? Cause and a lot of niggas who. Get the young niggas. They know they don't know that. That's why they get them. Dang. Cause they can fuck over them. A lot of niggas won't want to fuck with a nigga who got some sense. Cause they can't fuck over them. It's only a few niggas like. It's only a few niggas like that, bro. Mm. It's only a few good people out here. Damn, that's some real shit. It is. Damn. Nigga won't want to fuck with you. Oh, he know more. Oh, he know too much. Oh, this nigga ain't. Nah. And a lot of niggas will try to out you out, but if like, if you hard and you got down, you driven. It ain't, it's not gonna stop, bro. And then another part about it is like, even when you try to help. Sometimes, sometimes young niggas don't even want to hear that shit. Yeah, nah, cause they don't know, bro. Mm. You gotta remember when you was a young nigga. I gotta remember when I was a young nigga. You know what I'm saying? We all thought we knew shit, but we ain't know shit, man. Mm -mm -mm. We ain't know shit. You know what I'm saying? We ain't even think that, we, cause we ain't been through shit to learn from. So how do you give game when you know that niggas ain't gonna listen? Do you even, it's like, you, is it back to like, fuck it, I just focus on me? Sometimes you gotta let niggas crash they, and, do, and, and fix their own car. Jeez. You know what I'm saying? You could you could tell a nigga or preach to a nigga all you want to, man. But you'll know when a nigga really you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm sure if you wanted something when you was a young nigga, you really you you you, you stood on what you supposed to stand on to get where you need to go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sometimes like, I ain't gonna lie though. 
I feel like I'm an empath sometimes because it's like, man, I, I care. It's like I want niggas to get it. Me but too. Everybody not gonna get it. Me too. I want niggas. I want to give you the game. I want you to man just look. I'm this, this, this. But everybody don't. That get don't it. hurt. It, I ain't gonna say it hurt because everybody don't get it. If everybody got it, shit when the world wouldn't be how it is right now. It's levels in this world. Like everybody don't get it. Damn. Everybody ain't supposed to get it. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't got the brain power to get it. Everybody wasn't taught to get it. Everybody ain't go through nothing to learn from it and get it. You mm. know what I'm saying? Like, you got some, like, you know everybody ain't the same out here, man. No, facts. You know what I'm saying? But that's why I said, like, sometimes, like, I be having niggas that, that don't get it, mm. but I just want them to get it. So yeah, man. me too. It's like, bro, but it's, it's you, But it comes to a point where you got to, you got to, you going to let that shit, because that shit can fuck around and fuck you up. Mm. Like you said, you, you got to realize it to the point, you got to catch it. Like, okay, this shit will drive me down here. You gotta adapt or retire. Yeah, adapt or retire. You gonna Jeez. let that shit dry you down here, or you gonna got down? You know what I'm saying? But, but, live for you gonna live for you. That's some real shit. I'd be damned if I got them let a nigga bring me down because I'm trying to help him and I know him getting it. Mm -hmm. and he studied fucking me up. Hell nah. Let me ask you this, bro. What's that, bro? This is di I was dying to ask you this. Just nigga, come on with it. I'm, I'm dying to answer this. It, shit. it ain't no bullshit. It ain't no bullshit. It's some, go, it's some real shit. Yeah. Do you think seeing the success of your lady motivated you to get get up? Even faster? It ain't even her success that motivated me to get up. Well, her it's hustle. her telling me. Uh -uh, it's her having it's us having conversations. Mm. And she like, nigga, you need to drop this. This shit hard. Nigga, what you doing? You got all this shit. This shit hard. What the fuck you doing? That's hard. That Your shit chills. hard. And I'm like. That give me chills, you bro. You know what, real. babe? You right. Let me drop this shit. Nigga, you doing everything else but dropping your shit and you got this hard ass shit. The fuck you doing it for? The fuck you recording? You just want to hit? And I'm like, you know what, babe? Damn. Damn. Like, I'm, I'm on their ass, babe. So you was make you never stopped making the music. Nah, I got you just wasn't so putting much it music, out. Bro. I got a million songs. So I would think, just curious, I would think that like, you know, she doing her thing. Mm -hmm. And I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but like mm -hmm. that's kind of like, yo, I need to get up and stop playing. But for you, it wasn't even that. Nah, it ain't that because a nigga get cheese. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. it ain't her making money or doing whatever. But it, not even the money, though. It's just what, her, her, me saying. Cause she, but when I got with her, it, how long it was before she dropped music? Mm. I don't know. Tell me. Shit, I don't know. It was a few years. Damn. It was a few years before she had dropped something. She just got back in her music bag. Mm -hmm. So it ain't, it ain't the music. It's the motivation she give me. She bring the best out of nigga, like I'm saying. My That's partner don't bring the shit. best out of me. What the fuck I'm with her for? That's some real shit. You know what I'm saying? If I'm with a girl and I know she just driving me down here, I'm just, you was a sucker for it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? This, nigga, I'm with this girl, she nigga bringing the best out of niggas. And I'm like, I respect that. So It's so fire because in return, only, the only thing that's going to happen is- It's for the you, fam. You going to turn up? And it might be a time where she not as motivated or yeah. or as whatever. You might turn up and now it's like, you can return that favor. Yeah. That's fire. Yeah, I fuck with that shit. How so. important is that in your relationship? Man, it, it's very important because it's like we 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 working, we working towards something. Like nigga, do we gon' you gonna do this? We gonna do this? I'm gonna do this. You gonna do that? Or whatever the fuck, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? It's all for another move. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? We building, we building, we building this shit up. So we building something major. Mm -hmm. We ain't just fucking around. You know what I'm saying? We in this shit to really build some shit. Damn. You know what I'm saying? I be wasting my time. <laughs> I just fucking around. I done fucked around a lot before that. You know what I'm saying? This shit ain't got me nowhere. So now it's time to really build, build this shit up. And you know what I'm saying? It's an opportunity to really. Create with my fam, you feel me? Mm. It's all for the fam. That's hard. Do you fuck with the acting shit? Like, do you fuck nigga, with I'm that? trying to act. My, nigga, I'm trying to get in there. <laughs> he said, I'm I trying to get act, in there myself. What? Nigga, I'm trying to act. I always wanted to act. You I never tell like her I could act. You don't ever be like, yo, you got like, put, in, put a word in. Oh, no, nah, she put me in the building with the biggest dogs. That's hard. Put me on the jet with the biggest dogs. That's, that's, that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah, she, I don't hold no nuts on. Like, I don't want. Nah, she trying to, like, she puts me in the can. Did you ask? I'm curious. I ain't asked. If I got to ask, like baby, can you do this for me? That's just like if you fucking with a if you fucking with a chick or something, she asking for shit. You be like, man, this bitch asking for shit. Man, you know what I'm saying? That make a nigga not even want to do nothing. But if she ain't asking for shit, you probably want to do something for her. That's a fact. You feel me? Yo, bro, I swear to, I was having a conversation conversation with my girl, right? And I swear it's so petty. Yeah. I'm not petty, but this is petty. Yeah. I was planning on doing something for her. Yeah. But she asked me, Ooh. and it made me feel so uncomfortable. Yeah. And I had to apologize to her, because like when she asked me, I was like, what? Yeah. Like, yeah. But I had to text her like, man, I ain't gonna lie. I was already planning to do that, yeah. but when you asked me, I it don't know, I had, to, up, I had to get out of my own way. I don't yeah. know why, but it fucked me up. Yeah. It's, I was literally about to do it, but when she asked me, it was like, 
fuck you think I am? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying to play me? Or <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I was going to do it anyway. Yeah. This we, should be like that, man. We some niggas, bro. That's we some, some motherfucking niggas. That's dog. fucked up, bro. Why are we like this? <laughs> that is for sure. Like, why are we like this, bro? That shit is crazy. Yep. Damn, but that's that's dope that you have somebody that will put you in them situations. Yeah. But what's even dope for me, honestly, looking at you, mm-hmm. the fact that you even open for it. Because mm-hmm. a lot of niggas get in their own way with that pride and ego. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's see, I'm one of them niggas who really pay attention to that mirror, man. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I can't live a lie. You feel me? Mm. I can't live a lie, bro. I can't, bro. That's that's just something with the, the even like with the situation we talked about. The, I can't live a lie. Friend, like I'm making this money, like I got this shit when this nigga taking all my cheese. Like I can't live like that, bro. And I ask you about that only because, like, I'm like you. Yeah. But sometimes I talk to my engineer about this shit. Sometimes that shit hurt, bro. Because sometimes niggas do you. Even being in t- and having integrity, people still do you wrong. I had an interview where it wasn't the, my guess ain't looked the best. Yeah, and I was like, I ain't even gonna post that. I could have yeah. posted it, yeah, and that shit could have went crazy. Yeah. It would have went crazy, yeah, because they was like, it was embarrassing. Yeah, and people love that type of shit. Yeah, yeah. I'm they like, do. nah. Yeah, let's do it over. Yeah, I did it over. They still ain't post my shit. I'm like, Ooh. I should have just kept. I yeah. <laughs> the integrity shit. It's like I'm gonna keep it because that's who I am. Mm-hmm. But I'd be a fool to recognize how sometimes it, the niggas that don't keep integrity, the niggas that be on some bullshit, yeah. they be skipping a few steps. And I ain't gonna yeah. lie to you, sometimes that shit be making me upset. Yeah. I'm gonna be real with you. Yeah. That shit make me mad. I'm gonna be yeah. real with you. <laughs> Fuck that attack. Retire. <laughs> I'm just being Nigga, I'm pissed, nigga. And you gonna know and it. You nigga. gonna know Fuck it. Fuck you, nigga. That's what I'm, I'm pissed off, nigga. Fuck y'all, nigga, nigga. <laughs> hey, that's why I'm asking you the question. Like, that yeah. shit don't piss you the fuck off. Like, yeah, yeah. It's like, you know what I'm saying? You just gotta. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta take it in for you like you just gotta take it in and, and use it for what you use it for. You can mm. use it for take it you take it in and use it for like that shit that go it's gonna hurt you though if you take it in that way. You just gotta look at it another way, bro. Facts, you change you gotta, your mind, you change your life. Yeah, like you know what I'm saying? You gotta look at it another way. Mm, and understand, mm, like, if I think about it this way, it's gonna hurt me even more, man. Mm. But like nigga, I'm a fighter, nigga. I'm a fighter, nigga. I I ain't I it's, I ain't gonna let you beat me, bro. Mm. I'm not gonna let you beat me, bro. I would have been dead a long time ago, bro, if I just wasn't, nah, nigga, it's in me. And you just got to go for it, bro. I ain't folding, nigga. I came too far to fold, bro. Straight out. I can't let another nigga control my destiny, bro. That's no. some real shit. I just, that's just what I live by and I stand on, bro. Straight out the A, straight out the apartments. Yeah, for Tracy Jesus. T, I appreciate it, dog. For the people that don't know, let them know how to follow you and all that, man. Yeah, my Instagram, one Tracy T, like the number one, Tracy T. I'm trying to get... Mr. T, but Mr. T got Mr. T, you know what I'm saying? So it's one Tracy T, the Instagram, man. Yo, you uh, is there anything we missed? Missed opportunities? Mm, have I had missed opportunities? No, no, just curious. Oh, oh, oh. Nah, man, we just touched some shit, man. I, I enjoyed this convo. I appreciate we it, just talked about, <laughs> We just touched some shit, My nigga. Dog. I love how you coming. You came how you came. See, you ain't one of them niggas don't know what to ask or don't know how to ask shit. or don't. I hate when I get in an interview and niggas don't know what to say or ask me the same shit that everybody done asked. Like, come on, man. Wait, what's some of the same shit? Because maybe I miss some shit. What nah, you? nah what the is? same shit, bro. Uh, see, you ain't you ain't even say a name. I had to bring it up. Like, oh. You feel me? Oh, so how did you meet? Uh, you know I mean, what I'm saying? You DM'd her. I mean, she DM'd her. See you she know, followed you, but you know, you but, but niggas don't be having niggas be having the same questions. Oh the yeah, same, yeah, yeah, like yeah. you know what I'm saying. We just had real conversations. But the the power of the DM is magical. <laughs> nah, this shit magical. <laughs> it's <laughs> magical. That much. You feel me? But well, you got long reach out the DM, boy. <laughs> Nigga, I mean, I'm hitting, I'm hitting, I'm, I'm, I'm Steph Curry with the motherfucker. <laughs> you feel me? Like, cause you went hard, and I mean, it, 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 look at you now, man. Look at you. Look at y'all. I'm happy for y'all. <laughs> nah, for real, no cap. I, um, just hearing that story, I think it's dope and people need to hear that. Yeah. And I'm glad you was open to even share it. Yeah. Because a lot of niggas be high and like, nah, man, like, I don't do, nah, she got hers, I got mine, and you feel me? But yeah. like, the fact that like, nah, my girl put me in some rooms. Yeah, for sure. And how, yeah. That's how it should be. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? To where you going, yeah. And vice versa. That's, like, if you want better, I tell, like I'm saying, she bring the best out of niggas. She want the best for a nigga. Mm. If a girl don't want the best for you, what the fuck you would have for a nigga? That's fine. Like, come on, man. It's a team or nah, nigga. You want her to win and she want you to win. That's how it's supposed to go. Mm. Some niggas will get, see that girl going crazy and get jealous and get mad. You know what I'm saying? That's a, that's some. You feel me? But that's a. That's a human trait, though. I ain't fucking human, nigga. I'm an alien. <laughs> You keep saying this here. I'm an alien. I get. Alien? I ain't human, then, nigga. I feel like it's sometimes. Oh, I've been here before. Or something. It's sometimes man. where you see things and it kind of. It be like, damn. 
But as long as, in my opinion, yeah. I'll go first because I know you you are alien. Yeah. In my opinion, you ever hear if you hear as long that. as you check it at the door, you gonna feel some ways about things. Mm -hmm. For but sure. Check that shit at the door. Yeah. As long as there's no action coming from your emotions, I think it's good. I feel like I'm one of them niggas black. All right, well, I'm going to do this. Give me an example. Talk to me. Just like with the rosé shit. All right, okay. that happened. Well, I'm gonna but not nah, in a relationship. In a relationship? When you, say, you say some niggas get jealous. And I'm thinking, am I, am, I'm going a, I'm, I'm to a rebuttal that with. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. You can get jealous. Yeah. But just don't, 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 don't move on it. Mm -hmm. Don't act on it. Mm -hmm. Check yourself. Yeah. Check you, yourself, Q. You've never, you've never felt, you never got jealous at all. For what? I don't know. I, I smile when I see my girl too. I'm like, look at. I mean, that's yeah, true. that's it. That's, that's how true. that shit. That shit fire. That how that shit go. Put that shit by that that's shit. Cause that shit on, that's because you've been had motion. Yeah. But sometimes that motion come and go. Yeah. And sometimes you might be hurt. Sometimes your feelings might get hurt. But this nigga like, nah, none of that. Never. Nah, man, you gotta have a tough stomach, man. Strong stomach, man. I done see, see what I done been through built my character, bro. Mm. You feel me? So it's like, I done been through a lot of different shit, bro. Mm. Like this shit just wasn't no cool shit. No, I done hurt it a lot and understood what I had to do to not hurt. You mm. feel me? Different. I go. I done went through a lot of shit, boy. I overcame death, nigga. No, That's the biggest shit. <clears throat> so it's like, I don't know if I think and look uh, and act up because of certain experiences in life. You feel me? Cause I don't experience the, the the worst you can fucking experience. So it's like the the shit that happened, nigga, nigga. I'm gonna make the best out of it. Like that That's shit can't. That shit, shit don't affect me. That's like one of my shit. songs on tell you, I can look over <laughs> shit cause it don't affect me. Mm. Look over that shit and keep it moving, nigga. Yeah. That's dope. That's some real shit, nigga. If that's the case, I would have died a long time ago, nigga. Yo, how do you? I know the interview supposed to be over. Just get this shit real. This is you, good. Uh, one. You 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 got shot four times. <laughs> yeah. Was it? That was the one time? Yeah. In the car? Yeah. So, without um going too far in it, and if you want, we could beat anything out. And I mean that. That's my word. <laughs> without going too too far in it, I seen a post the other day, and it was, you got my phone? Let me see something. I, I, I wanted to ask you this. I forgot all about this. I am sweating as hot as a bitch. You, oh, you can I, see my it shit? Got, it kind of got a little cool. Ain't sweating bullets, man. <laughs> Damn. Hey, so you see about shit. Shit. <laughs> I would have been told you, bro. We ain't gonna, I ain't gonna let you do it like that. I was curious of what you think about this shit. This some real shit. We ain't even having an interview at this point. We just talking shit. Let me see. Damn, I ain't gonna be able to find it. Fuck it. So basically, it was a nigga talking about um not retaliating. Mm hmm Basically, like, life is, is too short and it's, 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 it ain't worth it. Mm -hmm. Nigga, do something, you let us see another day. Mm -hmm. Just walk away, basically. See, I'm a spiritual guy. Anybody that, like, I don't, like, I mean this from the bottom of my soul, I ain't trying to talk, for, like, for no, like, if you fuck with good people, <coughs> shit gonna come get you. Mm. Shit gonna come get you. I ain't gotta do nothing. Shit gonna come get you, boy. That shit gonna hurt you in a lot of different ways. Like, you feel me? I'm a good person. Mm. So, you know what I'm saying? Anything that ever try to get on over me, on me, it's gonna hurt them or it's gonna hurt me. Mm. You feel me? And I know that for a fact. Well, how do you walk in that coming from the streets? Because from the, coming from the streets, you gotta, you gotta make, niggas some, is make like, some examples and shit. Because, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you could say that, and that's cool. I think it should be like that. Yeah. But it, the streets make it hard to think like that. Yeah, the streets man, the make streets, you feel like you gotta, you gotta retaliate. Like you're this if you don't. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, that's for sure. That's for sure. I agree. I agree. Like you gotta stand on business. You know what I'm saying? Street shit, you gotta stand on business. But like, but but, but do so, you but have before to stand you, on business? But before you gotta stand on business, you, you know that business might stand on them. You know that's what, what I'm saying? saying. Do yeah. you have to stand on business? It just you depends. can walk away, right? You can walk away, or you can stand there and some be not, like. Nigga get hit by a truck and die the next mm. day. Nigga get killed by somebody else and die. And you like, see? Mm. I ain't even have to raise a finger. That nigga died a day later. Mm, mm, mm. You feel me? That's mm. life. That's a fact, man. I appreciate it again, man. I'm going to let you get out of here. For sure. Tracy T, J-Hill, J-Hill Podcast. It's a wrap, man. It was man. a great interview, man. Great, dog. I for appreciate sure. it, dog. For real.